just this time. He's got a playmate of his own. Bride of Chucky. Chucky gets lucky. Barbie, eat your heart out. Your Australian Brevin Thompson is back, and welcome back to my annual Halloween special. This time I'm going to be talking about Bride of Chucky, which was directed by Ronnie Yu, who would later go on to the Red Freddy vs. Jason. When it comes to Bride of Chucky, uh, this is one of the more talked about installments of the Chucky franchise. You have fans that really love this movie. Some might even put this on the top of their list as possibly their favorite film in the franchise. Uh, I would definitely be a, a one of those people because, I mean, I really like uh, Bride of Chucky. I mean, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's my favorite of the entire franchise. Uh, I would say it's like neck and neck with Child's Play 2, to be honest. Um, if I had to like pick my top three, it would be um, Child's Play 2, Bride of Chucky, and the original Child's Play. So, just wanted to clarify, just... I mean, that's uh, how I would, like, pick what's my favorite in the entire franchise. But before I go any farther into the review, I have my good friend Sarah from Sarah Horror collaborating with me on Bride of Chucky. I'm so happy to have her back on this channel. So before I discuss my thoughts on Bride of Chucky, it's your go, Sarah. Happy Halloween! <sighs> yes, yeah, so thank you, Brevin, for having me reviewing Bride of Chucky with you. And yeah, I'm going to a Halloween party later and I'm going to be the pinup girl from Strangers. So I'm super excited. But let's get to the review. And as I said, we're reviewing Bride of Chucky and I'm a huge fan of the Chucky series. I like almost all of the movies. And I have to say that Bride of Chucky is actually my favorite one. I do really like the first one, you know, it's classic. We get introduced to Chucky. But in this one, they just amped up the humor, uh, which I really, really love. And I think everything works. And also what I like most about Bride of Chucky is the introduction of the character of Tiffany, who is played by Jennifer Tilly. And I think that was a genius move. And, you know, the story to this one is just, you know, insane. We have Chucky, you know, I love doll. And then we have Jennifer Tilly, who becomes a doll herself. So we have this killer doll couple, which is a super good idea. And as I said, they have cranked up the humor uh, to the max. And I think Chucky's one-liners are the best in this movie and the things he does. One of my favorite scenes is when he's crawling around in the parking lot and we see a guy in a car like smoking some weed. And then he sees Chucky and Chucky just gives him the finger and the guy goes like, rude fucking doll. <laughs> and that was so funny. And also the kills are really creative and fun because it, as Tiffany says in this one, uh, you have to improvise because she says that a lot of things that Chucky does is kind of cliche. So we do get a lot of fun moments in this one. I especially like there's a scene involving uh, a mirror kill. Yeah, there are like shards of mirrors coming down uh, on unfor unfortunate victims. And the aftermath looks really good. And the effects are good in this one as well. And then we have the story of this young couple, Jade and Jesse. And Jade has like an overprotective adopted father right? or uncle or something like that who take, takes care of her and doesn't allow her to do anything basically, especially not date Jesse. So they go on, on the run and get married. And then they get blamed for a, a lot of the killings. So we have this kind of love story between Chucky and Tiffany who have their own agenda and Jade and Jesse is trying just to be together basically. And you know, the it, it's a fun watch. And there are so many crazy moments in this one and I love that scene when Jen Fertilli first becomes a doll and then because it's kind of a regular looking doll and then she has her kind of makeover scene and we hear Blondie's song 
and uh, while she's doing the makeup and it's so perfect and then she just ah uh, she looks amazing and then of course the crazy ending yeah it's it's a lot happening in this movie and that is why it's one of my it's my favorite chucky movie i always love rewatching bride of chucky i first saw it when i was very young and here is my edition of it i still have it from when i was young on dvd yes so special features the chucky interview trailer making dolls talk chucky about jennifer tilly chucky about his life clips from world premiere in la music video boogie king with screaming cheetah wheelies and oh i also want to say and uh, when we first get introduced to jennifer tilly we get to hear the song living dead girl by rob zombie which is just a perfect introduction to her character so and also a very good song so i'm giving this one a 10 out of 10 it's amazing if you haven't watched it please do and i want to thank brevin again for having me i collaborate with him and also happy halloween again whoa so when it comes to this film as well as the entire chucky franchise as a whole um when i was a kid uh, like i mentioned in my video for firestarter i always loved seeing like these ads for like classic horror films and bride of chucky was like one of those prepare to meet your darkest fears hi i'm chucky you wanna play so that's how important the chucky movies are to me and right next to the universal monster movies uh during my childhood they kind of like help further my development as a horror fan at that young age when i was six years old one of the film's biggest highlights is casting jennifer tilly as tiffany she owns every second that she is on screen both as a human and as a doll uh i like uh what they do with this character i mean she's introduced as like the ex-girlfriend of charles lee ray who would later uh become chucky and uh i love their relationship over the course of the film i mean she wants to like uh repatch uh their relationship because she believes that Chucky was as much in love with uh, her as she was in love with him uh, to the point where uh, she believes that he wanted uh, to get married. But it turns out she, uh, he didn't really give much of a shit about her, so yeah, she is not having that. And one of the movie's best kills in my opinion is like after uh chucky escapes his little crib that uh, tiffany had like trapped him in is when he gets out of there he shoves a tv in a bathtub and electrocutes tiffany and transfers her soul into a bride doll so now chucky and tiffany have to work together to find the heart of dabala which serves as this movie's MacGuffin in a way and when it comes to the scene with Tiffany giving herself a makeover, it is pitch perfect. This movie has some pretty creative kills. One in particular that I like is when uh, Tiffany tries to like talk Chucky out of like uh, hold off on the stabbing because it's a little bit cliched right now. And so they decide to like um, kill this police chief who's played by John Ritter by like uh, firing like a bunch of nails like into his face but uh, he later pops up alive at uh, some point some point later in the film and Chucky has to stab the motherfucker but before that uh, when they believe that he's dead with all the nails on his face I love this one that's right here why does that look so familiar which was an obvious reference to Pinhead from the Hellraiser movies. There's also another kill, which is pretty awesome, when uh, Tiffany throws a champagne bottle uh, at this uh, ceiling mirror, and it, uh, shards of glass uh, fall on this on this couple. And that, after that, uh, Chucky professes his love for Tiffany, and it leads to this awkward moment where they have sex while they're still in their doll form and there's one moment that gave me a bit of a laugh when uh, tiffany asked chucky do you got a rubber and <laughs> chucky's response is fucking hilarious when he says have i got a rubber tiff look at me i'm all rubber <laughs> 
that's pretty hilarious. I mean, this maybe uh, this entire film is pretty hilarious uh, in some, most parts. It's definitely the funniest in the entire franchise, in my opinion. I also like this uh, fight between uh, Chucky and Tiffany at the cemetery when uh, after Ch uh, Tiffany turns against Chucky. Uh, Ch Chucky, of course, like uh, kills Tiffany by stabbing her, but then uh, Jade later shoots Chucky. And the line that he gives, like before Jade uh, shoots Ch uh, Chucky, is like, "I'll be back. I always come back." But dying is such a bitch. <laughs> Chucky is like one of the best horror villains that has like some of the best one-liners right next to Freddy Krueger, in my personal opinion. And how the film ends, I've always been conflicted about, uh, is when uh, Tiffany gives birth to her and Chucky's child, and it leads off on a pretty horrifying note, like Tiffany giving birth to her and Chucky's child, but uh, how it should have, like, led up to, like, a really good sequel, but, of course, Seed of Chucky was the polar opposite of a good sequel to Bride of Chucky. But how that ended, just, like, it built up potential, but in the next film, they completely fucking wasted it. Bride of Chucky is just a lot of fun to watch. It's perfect for this Halloween season. It's one of the best in the entire uh, Chucky franchise. I definitely recommend checking it out. I mean... Uh, when it comes to Jennifer Tilly and Brad Dorif uh, as uh, Tiffany and Chucky, they have excellent chemistry together, and they're, I mean, they're definitely the best part of this film, as it has great kills, it has, like, great meta humor in terms of the horror genre, it, it just has everything that you would want for a, a film like this. Uh, it's almost uh, perfect. I mean, I, it's not 100% perfect. I mean, I had, like, some issues, but mostly regarding, like, uh, Jesse and Jade, who are not really the best characters uh, for a Chucky movie, but nonetheless, it's a lot of fun to watch. So I'm gonna give Bride of Chucky an A-. minus. So what did you think of the film? Let me know in the comments below, and I want to give a big thank you to Sarah again for collaborating with me on Bride of Chucky. This was so much fun. Thank you so much. And guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Looking forward to doing more videos really soon on my Halloween special. And if you want my thoughts on older new films, of course, you know where to find me.